you guys. So if I had to give some encouragement to you guys, or to anyone, I'd say do something brave every day. So, um, yeah, it's still, well, it's actually, it's technically the 27th, so I think this is my, or tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow will be my two months. Um, but anyway, do something brave. Um, so good morning, you guys, and I will see you guys when I actually wake up from sleeping because I haven't gone to bed yet, so. It's like 12.17, no, 12.04. I'm going to finish this book. I just have the epilogue to read, and then I'm having a Sunday, so I'll show you that right now. So racing's on right now. Um, so yeah. Uh, and anyway, next Saturday at three, which will be um, August third, uh, they're gonna show the amateur racing for the first time um, at Loretta Lynn. So uh, yeah, check it out. NBC, three p.m. Saturday, August third, um, will be the amateur racing. If you're into this stuff. Hey guys, so I have gone to the mall, gone to a market, um, like a store. Uh, a small grocery store and then gone to my grandma's tonight. Um, I went there around 8, 8.30 and came home around 9.30. It's 10.30 now and um, there's stuff on you guys so anyway um, I didn't really, I haven't really done much. I went through a lot of pictures and so yeah I, I'm pretty tired. I'll, I think I'm going to call it quits soon um, and go to bed so so um I was watching a Hallmark movie earlier, and, um, it had Alice and Sweeney in it. <laughs> it was a new one. Um, anyway, I have nothing really to say, um, that's that important, but I am pretty tired, so I'm just gonna go to bed. Sorry today wasn't very interesting. Um, tomorrow I, uh, will be going to church and then out to a Mexican restaurant, so I probably won't vlog much in the morning unless I vlog right away, um, just like when I'm getting up or something. But then, I will, let's see, what else? I don't know, I'll vlog later during the day. I'm probably going to go over to my grandma's at some point. I don't know. Um, a friend of hers and this lady who, um, well, my grandpa and now my uncle uh, worked their land, like farmed it. So, anyway, she's known this lady for a long, long time. And they, um, all of their, like, family went, well, a lot of their um, children and especially their grandchildren and stuff went to my school and great-grandchildren. Um, and my school is a very close-knit community, um, so, or at least it used to be. So, sorry, I keep thinking I hear something. And so, anyway, I went and saw this lady more than her great-grandchildren saw her. And um, I went and saw her more than I saw her than I see my great-grandma. And um, so anyway, I'm she passed away yesterday, I believe, um, so I'm pretty sad about that, and, uh, I mean, I'm not devastated, but, um, she's been stuff, she's slowly declined in the, over the past two years, um, she hasn't been doing well the past two years, but, um, the past few weeks she's really been having a hard time, and, um, I just feel really bad, she was having mini strokes for a long time there, um, and I just, I feel really, really bad, so, uh, I think I actually, like, I'm going, um, I'm pretty sure the showing will be on Monday and then the funeral on Tuesday, so I know I'm going to the showing, but I feel like I might actually cry because I'm going to miss her, and I have a lot of memories at her house and that involve her and just certain, like, smells and stuff make me think of their house and her and, um, her husband is pretty old too, um, older than she was, and he's not doing the best either, um, at least mentally, so now I'm rambling about old people that passed away and that are still alive and you don't even know. So anyway, I'm gonna go, um, I love you guys, and tell people that you love them, um, I know it's cheesy, but I'm not saying, you know, someone that you're having issues with, like I, I'm just saying... Um, but you know, you kind of care about, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying, let people know that you care, and, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go, I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.